why am I doing what am I doing? The spiritual thing, right? Well, why are you doing what you are doing? Why? Did you think about it? Like, why are you walking the way you're walking? Uh, why are you, I don't know, playing tennis? Why are you, because you like it or because you need to do it, right? But if you take it on a broader perspective, the question becomes much more difficult. Like if you're going to think about it on your lifetime perspective, like why, then why, what, when you die, what will you think that you did right? <laughs> right? And like, should you still play or do kitesurf or play tennis? So why am I spending some time obsessing on indigenous cultures, indigenous teachings, and knowledge that is like near death, near dead, sorry. i learning a language that is spoken by 500 people or 600. I am uh, learning prayers and songs that are um, not written anywhere, that I saved some of them on my phones just to learn them and I am not allowed to share them. Why am I doing this? Well, why? You know, because I went there and I spent 45 years of my life being completely disconnected. Uh, from nature, right? Disconnected. I was connected to something else. <laughs> I was connected to material success, competition, and uh, success. Success, success, success. Everything success, right? I, I, I'm not saying I, you know, sure, I mean, I achieve some success, but there is always more. That's the point, there is always more. And if you come here, there is a tree. <laughs> and what I discovered there, and you could tell me, well, yeah, like, bah, ha, ah, the connection to nature, you discover that, wow. Well, what I really discovered is in the Amazon forest is a connection. <laughs> like, like a high bandwidth, imagine the internet, right? Like, I, I, I discovered the internet in 93, 1993, yes, at Texas Instruments. I was an intern there, and we had, uh, I, I bought the first modem, it was, uh, 9600 i think modern anyway very slow connection so here's the thing i arrived at the amazon forest and and i they use those plants and animal you know things right and poof, like suddenly you see it's like imagine if if there is a hundred story building and the last building is where you go when you die or where you were when you were born. And there is God there. <laughs> uh, I mean, a, a divine place, right? Imagine you get to see this for one hour. That's basically what I lived. I'm not saying I've seen God in any way. <laughs> I don't, still don't know what it is. But I have seen a place that I keep describing. That place. Wow. That place. And that place is everywhere. It's in there. Because... What these indigenous know is to how to how to use a leaf, how to use a poison from a frog, how to use crazy things or very simple things, how to heal with something very, very simple. And that's what they know. And it took me there. So imagine you see that. So basically you see um, not even the, like the terabyte bandwidth internet, like the highest, highest throughput bandwidth <laughs> you can get. And then you come back after a few hours. That's the problem is you come back to normal, right? Like, like now, right? But each time I did these trips to the forest, these trips, which is now quite like, I think I went 10 times to the Amazon forest, spent about five months. Um, yeah, each time I open my bandwidth, my nature connection a little more each time. So of course I don't see, or I didn't see, but now I see way more. And it seems like every day I am seeing a little more every day with nothing. That's the new thing is dreams, right? So for example, my last my two last dietas or stays of one month in the forest, I learned to dream really. I learned to see my dreams, remember my dream, interpret some of, think about what it means. Um, and now I'm starting to be lucid in my dreams, to do things in my dreams. Um, 
every, not every night, but very something every night. Like I clearly remember what happened yesterday and today. And I am like starting to learn now a very small internet connection with nature or nature connection. How should I call it? The, uh, the bandwidth of, uh, of nature, right? And it's a very small, small, I'm, I'm, maybe I was 9,600 bytes per second and now I am 28.8. So I have a permanent connection, which is, which is why I love being here. I'm in Mexico in the jungle right now. And it's my second stay for two or three days. And uh, preparing some spiritual work here. But it's like, like this bird, this tree, this, you, get, you get a sense. You can touch a tree and feel something. I mean, at least it's starting for me. But it's very tiny. But each time I walk some more, that's the why, right? Why am I doing all these things? I'm, I'm, I'm going to spend some time here without eating and drinking and without sleeping or very little. And that is to open that pipe, to open that connection to nature. Forget about God, right? That's a big word, just nature, but wow. <laughs> and slowly, it opens. One way, so I've been uh, spending the whole morning here, walking here, walking here, removing wood, clearing space for, for something we're doing, we're preparing a circle. And um, each time I do that, I sing. I sing the songs that I've learned with the Yawanawas here in Mexico, it doesn't matter. Because these songs are, as they say, they're medicine. They, these songs are not just songs. Like, oh, this is a nice song. No, no, they're powerful. When they sing them, I have visions. When I sing them, I have visions now too. Some visions, right? It's not like, but like it's, and I get messages. So here is one message here is what is, Some indigenous learn to talk to birds. They sing exactly like the birds. So it's not only about receiving, it's also communication. Do I sound crazy enough now? I know someone who can do maybe a hundred different birds and talk to them. <laughs> I can't. But you see, so what is this connection? That is what I'm obsessing about. That is what I'm trying to, you know, like I spent 20 years of my life or 25 years um, working on getting the internet uh, to be, well, more of a creative place for entrepreneurs. And now it feels like I'm going to spend the rest of my life basically doing the same, but spiritually, there was an animal over here, but spiritually, like sitting, meditating here and feeling, receiving. And I have no, nothing in my body right now other than air and meditation how should we call it the nature connection to nature yeah yeah so that's why that's why that's why i'm doing this increasing my connection to the spiritual world